位观众，晚上好。我们今天要玩纸片马里奥 ，or as we know it in English, Paper Mario. All right. So tonight is our first time playing the is our first stream for Paper Mario, our new game. Last week we finished Palette,、uh, Forget Me Not Palette. So today we're going to be starting our new game, Paper Mario. Um, and going to be messing around with the. Let's see. I don't know if this game really needs an introduction, considering this is actually one. Of, normally, I usually don't play very mainstream games or games that are very well known. Hello, Illusion Queen. Nice to see you.、Uh, normally, I pick some pick、uh, games that were either not mainstream in the West or how do I say, or like、um, like Shenzhen, which is more mainstream in China, and there's a lot of people who have actually played the game there. China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Shenzhen is more of a thing there. Um, or and but in the West it's non-existent, so those games were not are not accessible to play for Western players. Or I'll usually pick something obscure like、um, Forget Me Not Palette is probably one of them. Or the、um, or even like even things that were kind of forgotten classics like Lunar. But this game, on the other hand, this is a mainstream. This is a one of those mainstream games. It's a Nintendo game. And hello, Zelo. Nice to see here. See you. And so honestly, I don't think I really did to induce it. This is Mario's art. This is the Mario RPG on the Nintendo 64. And、uh, yes, I don't have the original card. I haven't ever drive. I'm sorry. I I don't have the real thing. But this is an EverDrive 64 on the real thing. This is a Nintendo 64 controller. In case any of you are 12 years old and never played a Nintendo 64 game,、um, this is one of them. This is. What we used back then. I have a Rumble Pack, and it was made by Intelligent Systems, who you know as the who you know as the let's see, makers of Fire Emblem. Before we get started, I'm actually going to yeah. I think and I think that's all. Oops, I guess I forgot that resetting actually makes it sends it all the way back to this screen here. But yes, so this is a never. In case you're wondering, yes, I'm playing not playing this with the real card. I only have a. An EverDrive 64. That is a flash card for the Nintendo 64. And if you have a real one, this is the way to go to play. You can play most of the games on the Nintendo 64 this way, in, including some of the rareware ones. I actually think, except uh, yeah, everyone. I mean, this is the Nintendo 64 controller. When I was a kid, even I had trouble figuring out. I had no idea how to hold it until I looked at how to do it. But you're supposed to hold it this way and this way. In this Paper Mario's case, we're be we're going to be holding it this way for now,、um, because it used a control stick to do this.、Uh, the only other thing I should mention is that I, since this is an English game, I'll be I'll be speaking mostly in English. I will occasionally I may might do something a little interesting where sometimes I'll use start commenting and. Using Chinese comments, but I'll try to refrain from doing it too much so that people can follow what's going on. But maybe you will learn a few things or two. There's not going to be too much Chinese on this one compared to Palette and Shinjin 2, which were more serious games. This is a lot light, more lighthearted. But enough about introductions. Let's get started. Paper Mario. Let's begin. I'm going to read every line in voices. I better hear your best Peach voice. Oh gosh, let's not even talk about that. It's that's gonna be tough. This is on the Nintendo 64. The 60 the came out the same. The place today today. I'm going to tell the story of star spirits and good wishes. Text is so fast. Far far away beyond the sky. Way above the clouds. It's been said that there's a haven where the stars live. The sanctuary of Star Haven. There rests a fabled treasure called the Star Rod, which has the power to grant all wishes. Using this wondrous Star Rod, the seven revered Star Spirits watched over our peaceful world. Carefully, very carefully. And then, oh dear, what the? Who stuck that weird thing into this story? Ha 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 ha! Yeah, I did. Ha 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 ha! So I can at long last beat my arch enemy Mario. I'll take this star rod. Do it, Cami Koopa. Oh 
Oh dear, things are going off to a great start. No, you mustn't do that! Yeah, now let's try using it! Stop it! Cut it out, Bowser! You're changing the story! I can't... I don't know who's talking, so... <laughs> we did it! That was a piece of cake! <laughs> Nice Bowser win. Oh, thank you! I tried really hard. Now Star Kids may rise to the Haven to deliver people's wishes. But those wishes will not come true. Whatever can they do? Paper Mario 2001 Nintendo. So this game also was made in the, around the same time as Palette. So we seem to be stuck in this... In the general 2001 era. Uh, Shenzhen 1 and... And the uh, palette both came out at the same time. Intelligent systems. I mean, let's watch a little of the demo just for fun, just to kind of get an idea what this game's all about. I believe I will be using a lot of helpers in this game, from what I can tell. I don't think I'm gonna do a very compelling peach, but at least one good thing about this game is that I won't be speaking like a, li a, a, a young girl the whole time like I was in Palette. It'll be nice to use male voices for once. Although Palette had a few little bit of that. Shenzhen 2 had a lot of talkative women on it, so I had to talk like a girl half the time. Ooh! You can go into the paintings with it. You have eight partners picked up over the course of the game. That's cool. I've never played any of the Paper Mario games, so this is a blind playthrough, just to let everyone know. I have only heard of this game, but I have never played it for myself. Um, so everything's blind to me, I don't know what to do, I won't know anything of, uh, else about what's up ahead. I only know what I see in the demo, which is basically all the eight partners, like the Goomba, that little Goomba dude, the baby's electric pill thingy. I guess here's a solid, a sol uh, solid snake section with Peach here. And it's not important, we'll figure it out, the partners out as soon as we get them. Opening ouch, that looks painful. Opening trailers do, do usually spoil party members in RPGs. Usually, some maybe not Xenoblade in particular. But in Earthbound you know that you're four character four party members very, very early because of the introduction. Speaking of Earthbound, I'll probably have to repair my cart because I lost my save on the cart because the battery went out. Um, but anyway, that's that's neither here nor there. Let's begin our Paper Mario journey. Alright. We have no save, so let's do file one. My file name is I will use my regular my alias. Could use Kevin, but you know, that gets a little boring. At least this one that way I'll know which is which. File name is Valleys, okay? It's even better in the sequel. Yeah. Yes, I heard that Mar uh, my friend tells me that the sequel is even better than the first game. And so this is so he says that after you play this, you'll probably want to play the second one. And it's true. I might I'll also play the second one in the future. Though probably not immediately after, because that's the pol the policy I've kept up is not to play sequels right after the original games on stream in particular. Not in real life. In real life, I've definitely done that. First play. Start game with file one. Why? Yes, I would. I uh, agree. I don't. I also realize I don't have to translate anything for you guys. You guys can see this for yourself. Unless you're Chinese, then I will translate for you as best I can. I'd say they're both about equal. Interesting. Mail call. Huh. Hey, Ma Mario, we got a letter from P Princess Peach. I can't do Luigi voices very well. I'll read it to you, okay? 
Oh my goodness, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I have to remember not to be Xiaohu. Wrong person, <laughs> wrong character. All right, let's see. I'm throwing a <laughs> cat to peach. It's so hard. I'm throwing a party at at my castle today. Mario and Luigi, I would be honored if you would you both could attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you here soon. Sincerely, Peach. Ugh, I can't imitate women's voices. I guess everyone's gonna go to the party. I like the way they spin down. The I have to admit, even for a Nintendo 64 game, this still looks pretty good. And because this style aged a bit better than some of the other Nintendo 64 games, like Mario 64. Well, actually, one, one looks somewhat okay for given this time. And Mario Kart 64, man, <laughs> you can tell what they were, the shortcuts they were using to make that game look 3D. All right, we're here at this, the Pe at Peach's castle. What a, <laughs> what a magnificent castle! I never get used to this place. It always... Uh, it looks like a, lots of guests are already here. Oh, I can't imitate Luigi. Okay, so this is, I can move around and talk to you. Yeah, the Nintendo 64 was 1996. This game is actually relatively uh, late in the system's life cycle. It looks really good because it's smooth, smooth on the game. Let's talk to some people. In this case, we're going to try to talk to NPCs because there's not that many of them. Mario, you're look <coughs> Mario, you're looking well. Please enjoy the party, okay? I can't. Wow, I've never seen so many guests from different parts of the world in one place. I'll bet you could hear some stories about places you've never been to, huh? Sometimes I'm, I have the voices of Toad in my head, but I can't imitate it, so that's why I'm like, uh, what do I do? Hey, er, Mario, I hope you brought an appetite. There's so much good food here. I think this is actually the last first party game for Nintendo. Oh, it was, yeah, I, as I said, it was near the end of the N64 lifespan, because that would this came out five years after the N64 came out. I believe was Earthbound Mother Three was going to be on this on the N64, but then that got moved to the Game Boy Advance. So. I already ate way too much. I'm taking a little breather. Well, that's enough of a rest. I'm hungry again. Let's eat to the buffet table. Ah, salutations, Mario. Do you know Frosty here? He's come all the way from the Shiver region, which lies far to the north of here. I'm waiting for some drama and dungeons. Good luck with that. We'll have dungeons, but not... I don't know about drama. Princess Peach is such a generous and wonderful lady, just as I was told. It was worth coming for to visit. Mario, please come visit us in the Shiver region someday. Notice I can jump. I can. Uh, start doesn't do anything at the moment, but oh, that's what it does. So I can check on their statuses by hitting C up, which is this button on the controller. Let's go talk to. Uh, where did to? Where did to? Oh, those the retainers. Oh, I talked to you. Already. See Mario, why don't you go see Princess Peach? I'll go later. I'm thinking I'll mingle for now. You <laughs> press A in front of the door up there, you can open it. Oh, welcome, Mario. The last party was lovely, wasn't it? Oh, by the way, Princess Peach has been waiting for you. I think Princess Peach has been looking forward to seeing you since this morning, Mario. She's been restless. Hehe, <laughs> how cute. Uh, okay. Oh, well, I, I shouldn't leave her waiting, should I? Can I go into this door? It doesn't seem to open. Have you noticed that Mario doesn't talk? Yeah, I believe in this game Mario has no actual lines. He's 
going to be a silent protagonist just like he was in Super Mario RPG on the Nintendo. Did I say the Nintendo 64? On the Super Nintendo. It doesn't seem to open. 